Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Supriya Raja. This video is about the connection between our brain chemicals and also our cognition and ability to learn. Well, research has already proven, proven this as well. Research studies have shown that the neurotransmitters, which is called dopamine, which is also a brain chemical, is very much connected to our learning and cognition. And how is that? When we are engaged in, in a very pleasurable activity or activity which is fun and which is also engaging, a lot of dopamine is released in our brain, which is also true not only for us, but also for children as well. So similarly, when children are engaged in an activity that they see it as pleasurable, fun, engaging, dopamine is released or that particular brain chemical is released, which has a very positive effect on their ability to learn, on their cognition, their ability to retain that concept, the ability to comprehend that concept, and also such pleasurable activities enhances curiosity in them. Now, you might ask, how do I do this? How do we ensure that you know, activities are pleasurable? Very simple. Ensure that whatever learning happens at home, it is using multi-sensory methods. Now, what is multi-sensory? Which means using visual, using auditory, kinesthetic, that is movement, and also tactile, which is touch. Now, for instance, if you're reading to our child, ensure that reading is not just a very boring way of just, you know, is reciting a particular story in a very monotonous way, but instead using intonation, using expression, and while reading, also keeping a very colorful book in front of them. So they are seeing the story, they are hearing the story, and if available, there are so many books which also have textures in them, where the stories have textures, wherein, for example, um, the picture of an animal, for example, uh, like a turtle or an elephant or a snake, they also have those particular textures attached to the book so the child can feel the textures. So if you are able to get any of those books, great. If not, also, it doesn't matter, at least use whatever ways, multi-sensory multi ways that you can do at home. Like I said, reading with intonation, where they hear the story, they see the story. You can also use kinesthetic method, which is movement. But our kinesthetic method of movement, how do we do that? Simple, you can try, you can adopt the same story in the form of a skit or a drama, where you and your child are the character. So they're actually playing the particular story, playing that particular concept. So this is just, this is an example of I'm, what I'm trying to present, like how you can make learning fun, reading fun. You can use these multi-sensory methods in different aspects of their life, such as teaching any particular concept. It doesn't all, just have to be with reading a book, but also read, teaching a concept. I would advise you that if you are, you know, if, you, if a child is engaged in learning a particular new concept, let them get let them actually do the experiments at home let them do that activity at home let they get let them get their hands dirty basically like if they are trying to understand how seeds are germinating they're learning that in school instead of just making them read that concept let them even in fact try and um, put the seeds in the pot let them water the plant let them water, water the pot and see for themselves how it is happening so they're basically using their hands also, right? It's not just reading about the concept, but actually using their hands as well, using multi-sensory ways to learn a concept. So like I said, this way, the child finds learning more fun, learning more engaging. Learning is also building curiosity and enabling them to ask questions. Now, this will definitely have a very positive impact on their interest in that subject, interest in constantly seeking out answers, constantly asking for questions, having that questioning mind, which is a prerequisite of having school success. In fact, I would go a little more further saying not just school success, but also success in life, because you are in turn molding them, 
creating the foundation for your child to be a lifelong learner. So yes, I hope this video has been of great value to you. So get yourself also interested when you are engaging with your child. You also show the enthusiasm and interest when you are reading a book to your child or even teaching them a particular concept. So yes, like I always say, happy reading, happy learning, and happy connecting with your child. So until my next video, I'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.